Welcome to e know how. In this uh, video, we will look at an RC low pass example and we will uh, choose R and C such that it's easy to calculate the gain and uh, the, the magnitude and the phase with respect to frequency. So let's take this RC here. So you got R and C. And we wrote that the transfer function for this is uh, 1 over SCR plus 1, which is 1 over J omega CR plus 1. And then we said that the 3 dB frequency at the 3 dB frequency, the real part and the imaginary part are equal, which means omega CR should be equal to 1, or omega is 2 pi F. CR is 1 or F3dB is 1 over 2 pi CR. So this is the 3dB frequency that we calculated. Now let's choose R and C such that it's easy for us to do some calculations. So what I want to do here is I want to choose R is equal to 100 over 2 pi kilo ohms which is multiplied by 10 power 3 ohms. So why I chose this 100 over 2 pi? 100 over 2 pi this will work out to if you look at it it will be 15.915 kilo ohms. So that is the R value of R. And C I will choose conveniently as 1 nanofarad or that is 1 into 10 power minus 9 farads. So that is the R and C. Now if I calculate the CR or F3dB would be 1 over 2 pi and then C is multiplied by 10 power minus 9 that is 1 nanofarad that is the C and now if I put the resistance in, resistance I wrote it as 100 over 2 pi kilo ohms which is 10 power 3. So now if you calculate this, why I chose this 2 pi, it's evident right now. So you can easily get it in terms of hundreds of kilo ohms or tens of kilohertz actually. So now if you look at it, this would be 1 over 10 power minus 9. and so what happened was basically this 2 pi and this 2 pi cancel here. So you got 10 power minus 9 multiplied by 10 power 5. So it would be 1 over 10 power minus 4 which is nothing but 10 power 4 hertz which is 10 kilohertz. So by choosing these values, we could get a nice uh, value for the 3 dB frequency which is 10 kilohertz. Now if you calculate this one, uh, if you calculate the magnitude at different frequencies, so it's easy to do that. So the magnitude is written as the, in dB is 20 log to the base 10. 1 over square root of 1 plus 2 pi f cr whole square. So now uh, we know that 2 pi cr from our calculation before 2 pi cr is nothing but 10 power minus 4. That's what we got. So now let's calculate at a frequency of say 1 hertz. So 1 hertz, let's calculate what this would be. This would work out to 20 log to the base 10, 1 over square root of 1 plus 2 pi CR is 10 power minus 4. And frequency is 1 whole square. So which would approximately, this is, in this case, this is very negligible. So this would be 20 log 
to the base 10 it would be 1 so which is log 1 is 0 so 0 dB so it will pass exactly what 0 dB is nothing but 1 the gain of 1 so if you see here the gain of 1 is 0 dB so it will pass whatever is applied at the input now let's go to directly the 3 dB frequency we know that the 3 dB frequency we calculated here as 10 kilohertz so now we've put 10 kilohertz here so which is 10 multiplied by 10 power 3 hertz so if you do this equation again 20 log to the base 10 1 over square root of 1 plus we know that 2, uh, 2 pi cr is 10 power minus 4 and the frequency is here 10 power 4 here this whole square so which would work out to 20 log to the base over 10 1 over square root of 2 so which would be minus 3 dB now let's calculate at uh, 100 kilohertz so which is 10 times the frequency 100 kilohertz 10 times 3 dB frequency so with this you get 20 log to the base 10 1 over square root of 1 plus we got 10 power minus 4 is 2 pi cr and we got 100 kilohertz so 100 kilohertz is 10 power 5 whole square so which would work out to 20 log to the base 10 1 over square root of 1 plus you get 10 square which is 100 here so which is 1 over square root of 100 is 0.1 so which is almost that is 20 we can approximate we can neglect the 1 here to the base 10 so 1 over square root of 100 is 1 over 10 which is 0.1 so that is minus 1 so it will be minus 20 dB this is minus 1 log 0.1 to the base 10 is minus 1 so it is minus 20 dB so now if you go uh, 100 times uh, the 3 dB frequency which is say a thousand kilohertz which is nothing but a megahertz one megahertz if you go one megahertz you will work out this the magnitude will work out to be minus 40 dB so you will see that easily we can calculate we can see that the the gain drops minus 20 dB per decade of frequency similarly we can do easy calculation for phase 2 here so we we said that the phase the output phase is tan inverse omega cr or tan inverse 2 pi f c r and we know that 2 pi c r is 10 power minus 4 so at 3 dB frequency which is 10 kilohertz we get phase is tan inverse 2 pi c r is 10 power minus 4 multiplied by the frequency is 10 power 4 so which is tan inverse actually it's a minus here the phase is lagging here so minus of tan inverse 1 that is minus 45 degrees and now we do it at say 0.1 times the 3 dB frequency which is say 1 kilohertz 1 kilohertz the phase would be minus tan inverse we got 10 power minus 4 multiplied by 10 power 3 which is the frequency 1 kilohertz so you get minus tan inverse 
0 0.1 which is approximately equal to minus 5.7 degrees that's what we get but in the approximations we say it starts it starts falling from there one one decade below the 3 dB frequency so we put zero but in reality it is minus 5.7 degrees now if you take 10 times the 3 dB frequency now so we take 100 kilohertz at 100 kilohertz if you calculate phase would work out to minus tan inverse we get 2 pi CR is 10 power minus 4 and 100 kilohertz is 10 power 5 so we get minus tan inverse this is 10 which approximately works out to minus 84.4 degrees so here in, in the approximate in the approximation if you draw the phase you put it at a minus 45 and at the 3 dB frequency omega naught you put minus 45 and go one decade below one decade above so at 10 omega naught you say it is 90 and at 0.1 omega naught so we say it is 0 and it's minus 90 here but reality we, when we calculate it it is basically it's, it's minus 5 here minus 5.7 and still 84 and it goes to 90 later so that is the real curve so the this is how with I took an example I kind of chose this value intelligently where I put this R is a I put 100 over 2 pi so that it's easy for hand calculations so go through this example and then you will see that it's easy to calculate this